Hello and welcome to the first video in my free training, Be the Queen of Your Household. Now, I know that you may feel like it is impossible to have a clean house with kids because let's face it, kids make messes, whether they're eating or playing or even sleeping. Sometimes they're making a mess and it may seem impossible to have a clean house when you also have kids, but it's not impossible. And I wanna share with you today four quick things that you can do they're simple things each day to maintain a clean house with children. Before we get started, my name is Emily Wilson. I am the creator of the 10 Day Balanced Mom Challenge where I talk specifically about having a balance between a clean home, being a good mom, and meal planning because I think those are the three things that moms really struggle with. And so I share 10 specific steps that you can take to balance all those things. I'm also the owner and founder of queenofthehousehold.com where I help stay-at-home moms thrive at home and by simplifying their homemaking. So you have probably seen the signs um, in different stores or um, online in different, you know, gifts um, that are online that say things like, um, good moms are those with sticky floors and dirty ovens and piles of laundry, right? So the opposite of that would mean that if you have a clean house and you don't have piles of laundry, then you're a bad mom, right? Because obviously you're just spending all day cleaning and not paying attention to your kids. That's kind of, you know, the opposite idea of that. Or maybe you've seen in the stores those big wooden signs that say things like, excuse our mess, we live here. Um, and I like to think of it the other way around. I think of it, we live here, so let's clean up the mess. Because I know that I thrive when my home is not in chaos. I thrive, and so does my family, um, both my husband and my children. We enjoy our home more when it's not a mess. And I'm not talking about a perfect home. I'm not talking about going behind your kids with a bottle of Lysol wipes and like wiping down everything that they touch and not allowing them to sit on the furniture or anything like that. No way. My kids make messes and if you were to come in my home, it would not be completely spotless. I'm not talking about a perfect home, but I'm also wanting you to know that it doesn't, your home doesn't have to be a chaotic mess and you don't have to live with piles of laundry and sticky floors constantly. That doesn't have to be your day in and day out thing that you face every day. Because when you do live it in a, a mess like that, it can wear you down and it'll stress you out. And it feels like a burden because it's constantly on your mind. Oh, I've got to do the laundry. Oh, the house is a mess. Oh, I need to mop. If you're constantly being weighed down by the mess. So Let's go ahead and let's jump in. I wanna go ahead and just let you know that I can totally relate to all of this because I felt the same way. And it took me a while to really figure out how to balance everything with cleaning the house and meal planning and being a good mom and being a good wife and taking care of myself. And I really had to figure out what works, what is um, it that I need to focus on and how can I simplify it. And so, there really are only four things that you really have to make a priority each day in order to have a clean home with kids. And I wanna talk about those four things with you right now. So the first is your laundry. And you know I don't know what the state is of your laundry at your house right now, but I know for me, I used to let it pile up all week long. I wouldn't touch it all week long, and then I had this mountain of laundry at the end of the week, and I just dreaded laundry day because I was constantly having to keep up with the washing machine. Is it done? Okay, let's put it in the dryer. Okay, the, those clothes are done. I've got to fold those. I've got to put all those away. And I was just constantly doing load after load after load. And then I would always forget that last load in the washing machine overnight. And I wouldn't, it would, I would have to wash it again the next day because it had gotten sour at night. So that was the story that I lived with of my laundry for the longest time until I finally realized, you know what? We wear clothes every single day. We need clothes every single day. What if I washed a load of clothes every single day? And so that's my first tip is to do at least one load of laundry every day. Um, and you know, sometimes I, I would say one-ish because sometimes, you know, we might do a load of towels, we might do a load of sheets, 
in conjunction with our clothes. So doing a load of laundry. Number two is cleaning up the kitchen each night after supper. So here's the thing, your family has to eat. And in order to eat, you have to have a clean kitchen to cook that meal for them. You have to have clean dishes for them to eat off of. But if you're leaving the dishes in the sink every night or on the countertop, then there's no room to make dinner. There's no clean dishes to eat off of the next day. And there's nothing worse than waking up to a dirty kitchen the next morning. But there is nothing better than waking up to a clean kitchen the next day, starting your cup of coffee and enjoying a peaceful, calm environment in your kitchen while you get the day started. So that's tip number two, clean your kitchen up every night after dinner. And then tip number three is to deal with the mail right away. And so here's something else that I used to do all the time. The mail would come in the house and I would set it down on the table and I would leave it there and pile it up until the weekend. And so we would have this pile, this huge stack of mail to deal with at the end of the week. But you know what? Almost all of it is trash, a lot of it. So um, what I, and, a lot of it is trash and then the rest of it was usually bills or ads. And so what I ended up doing was I said, you know what, instead of letting it stack up and having this pile on the countertop or the tabletop, why don't I just deal with it right away? So as soon as the mail comes in or as soon as possible when the mail comes in, I divide it up. If it's trash, I throw it in the trash can right away. If it's a bill, I put it in my planner so I know to pay the bill. And then also if it's an ad, I only keep the ads that I know I'm gonna shop at. There are two stores in particular that I shop at and I get ads for like five or six different stores. So those other stores, I just throw the ads away because I know that I'm not going to need them and they're just gonna take up space on my countertop if I don't deal with them right away. So deal with the mail and other paperwork right away as soon as possible. And then the fourth tip that I wanna um, encourage you to do to have a clean house with kids on a daily basis is to have a tidying up time. So, you know, for me, it's usually a few times throughout the day, I'm trying to make sure that I'm putting things away as I'm done using them, but also at nighttime before bed, I just do a really one, quick once over of the main living areas in our living room, in our dining room, in our kitchen, and I make sure that things are put up. It doesn't take very long. Some nights it doesn't take any time at all because I've already put things away during the day. Same with your kids. If you have kids um, and they have their toys in their rooms or maybe in a toy area in your home, have a specific time that you have them pick up their toys. Now, I used to do this the wrong way. I used to have my kids pick up their toys before bed. So before they brush their teeth or before it was bedtime. And let me tell you, it was like fighting tooth and nail to get them to pick up their toys because there was no motivating factor. And I mean, they didn't want to go to bed. They didn't want to brush their teeth. So it was like, you got to pick up your toys before we can brush teeth. Well, you know, that didn't matter to them. So what we've done instead is um, if they want to watch TV or if they want to go play outside, their rooms have to be picked up. And that, let me tell you, they get their rooms picked up pretty, pretty quickly if they know that they can watch TV after it's done. So those are the four tips for a clean house with kids. If you get on top of those four daily habits, let me tell you, that's going to make a huge difference in your life, in your home, and in your peace and calm and feeling in control, feeling like you are the queen of your household. Laundry, clean kitchen at night, dealing with mail and paperwork right away, and then last, having a clean up or tidy up session. That's the first step in having the clean home. Now, you may be thinking, yeah, but how do I get this cleaning done with kids and not ignore them? You know, how do I balance being a good mom and giving them the time and attention that I need to with them and also maintain all these other household responsibilities and just personal and family responsibilities that I have. And that's what we're gonna talk in video, talk about in video number two, which will be coming out next week. So make sure that you're ready for that video. I would of course love it if you would give this a thumbs up and then leave me a comment below letting me know what is the one habit that you're gonna start implementing today to have a clean home with your kids. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.